might be back to the F body cast tank idea. May have to do some re re rethinking. series for me and my dad take a 623 Ford Bear and a G-Body Cutlass frame and combine them together to create a hot rod. Now the car used to have the engine in the back. It used to be a rear engine car. For the build we're doing, we're going to be putting the engine in the front. So that leaves the trunk in the back. And today, for this episode, we are going to be planning out the trunk and working on that a bit. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the episode. This opening is going to be a lot smaller than the G-Body. Factory tank isn't going to fit where it normally would, but we might be able to move it forward in the chassis with a different exhaust and use those mounts. Of course, centering the tank is not going to center the hole. We're going to have to look at that. We might be back to the F-Body cast tank idea. Go after your wisdom teeth. Woo! Finding the money for that might be kind of tough. Somehow I feel like I'm taking too much off of the metal, like too much paint, so I'm gonna try to go a different route. factory G-Body tank unmolested. We'll have to actually cut the, uh, the snout and rotate it to get behind the plate. And we haven't even looked into GRB body rear mounts. But if we did this, I might be able to get down another inch or two. That would get us fairly close to the frame. It would make for a reasonable, if not substantial, trunk in the car. You good with that? Yeah. Kind of surprised at how well that, that fits in there. I mean, we'll have to make some extensions and drops and yada, yada, yada. And we're going to have to deal with this rust. I mean, obviously it's blown through in a few places. Figure out just how bad it is through here. Make some repairs there. That uses literally the factory braces. We can reuse the factory straps. I've still got the carbureted tank out of the Malibu. That's in really nice shape. We can put that in here. We'll just take a tube cutter around it and then rotate the, the angle on it. I think what we'll do is we'll literally just cut this and drop it down to about whatever level is and then we can reuse that one. It's a little bigger but it kind of mirrors and we can just kind of mirror that. That'll give us a little extra room and then we'll refabricate this area, kind of weld everything back together again. And that'll give you a good sized trunk, lots of airflow. So if you do run this in less than ideal weather, we're not going to have wet spots and we're not going to be fighting trying to build, you know, inner wheel wells necessarily when we'll just build a trunk tub and be good to go. I think. You like that idea? Yeah.
this is going to end up sitting down here more and then we'll fill these gaps. We'll have to do some blending or something there. We'll just extend this down an entire stanchion in. This side actually looks pretty nice. Got some more fuel up here though. I'll we'll have to rebuild some of this. I have to rebuild all of this. Can't get over how solid this thing actually is in some of the areas that you would expect it to just be flat cancer out. No, it's not. And then we'll have to do something for these body braces that are rotate them and actually put a brace in here and bring it over that I keep it from in the wind, you know. That'll keep the shell pretty much unmolested and we don't have to mess around building some kind of wheel well and we can still get airflow through here where all this will be dry and the trunk will still be, you know, clean and out of the weather. And it'll be kind of a funky, I think, nobody's going to expect to see the trunk of the sort. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this open, clean that up, weld that back together again. This has got a good brace in here, some good structural rigidity, so we'll reattach that and then build off of that. Peel this out, peel this out. Probably end up plating that opening in the front there, underneath the window or inside the cabin. And that'll give you a decent, or do you want to keep that package shelf <coughs> accessible from the inside of the car? Do you think you're going to use that? Because depending on the seats we use, we may end up being kind of rigidly mounted back there. And then that's nothing but dead space. If necessary, we don't have to have it. We should probably take a trip to the boneyard and figure out what we're going to do for seats. We found those in, what was that, that Ford Escape? And then another fella had mentioned a Chrysler something. A convertible. Was it a Concorde convertible? Might have seats that would work. we got to do some looking into that. Later, my mom came to visit and decided to ask my dad some more questions about the trunk. That's what I'm trying to do. What are you doing? I'm just packing this panel out, trying to make a little bit more room in here. I'm gonna come back and probably skin this down. I don't know what that necessarily is gonna do to us, but if I can make this all kind of flat and smooth, kind of start building a tub for the trunk. And... But first I gotta get some bracing built up that's gonna run around to the stanchions or, or support off the back of the, the bumper here, or both. Or not the bumper, but the back end of the frame here where we cut it off. I had a couple different ideas how we were going to deal with that, but I don't think any of them are going to work necessarily. When the car's together, this is going to get really, really snug. It's going to be really difficult getting up and in here at all. Yeah. So, you may have to do some re, re, rethinking. Just like everything else on this thing. Come up with one idea that you think is simple and elegant. No, nope, that ain't going to work. So you got to do something a little less simple and elegant. Well, is there anything that's going to... Is this actually going to be a trunk now? Yeah. Because this is where the engine... Was. Was, yeah. yeah. Engine's up there now. Gas tank's going to ride right here. It's going to be slightly off-center of... Oh, so you're putting the gas tank well, back here. body So do you need a, an opening for the gas tank back here, too? Because isn't that, like, up in front? No. Or not? Yes, no? but no. It's, it's just going to sit in the cavity between the frame rails. So it's gonna be over here? It's gonna be right where I am, it's gonna be. So where, where are you gonna fill it up is what I'm saying. Cause the- You know, the idea right now was, I originally was gonna use a Camaro one, mm -hmm. but I tell you what, I went and I priced those puppies out. <laughs> no. Too much? No, I've got, I've got a perfectly usable G-body one, but what we're gonna to have to do is get a different- so you uh, put it in the back, yeah. Bracket, and then we're gonna to have to notch this for the tube and cut the tube and rotate it probably about 15 to 30 degrees left to center to get it to exit or make it accessible behind the license plate. So yeah. there's going to be some butchery there. There's all kinds of patching that needs to be done in here. This car had tin worm everywhere. Kind of amazed the body was as good as it was considering the amount of tin worm inside it. What you up to, Amanda? Me? Yes. I'm currently holding the dog, <laughs> and I am scraping some stuff onto the fender. Or is this the wheel well? I'm not sure what this is in order to be used. It looks uh, like the wheel well. It's a square wheel tub. 
yet in order to be used um, in the trunk, the future trunk. Weren't we talking about like how it would be able to hold a wheel or something like that? The idea, I think, is we're going to kind of mirror this side and maximize the use of the uh, trunk Mirror top. what side? The way this one, the spare okay. wheel used to ride right here and was supported just over the engine. So I just kind of cut it where the compound curves ended, where we could just kind of go in with a flat piece of tin and then we'll extend it down to whatever elevation our trunk floor is going to be. And I'm thinking that's going to be like right across here, right now. So what's she cleaning off of it? She's cleaning that one up so we can use that to kind of mirror what was done here. What is she cleaning? It's just the tub out of the G-body that the spare tire set. Oh. Out of the cutlass. So is it dirt and rust and grime and stuff? Oh, what is she cleaning off of it? Yes. Uh, undercoat, road debris, whatever stuck to it. After a while, I finally got the power tools out and cleaned them like that again. I, I don't know why I thought scraping was a good idea. I just... I guess I just really like to scrape, I don't know. <laughs> In the process of cleaning the sills for the deck lid, Dad decided to clean the paint off the rest of the rear quarter too, preparing it for some body work. We'll come back to the trunk in a later episode, but we have some more decisions to make with that yet. We're gonna need to get this rocker molding off of here. Get this what out of here? This rocker molding's gotta come off. Oh. Does that need a screwdriver? Or? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna need Phillips number two. Here, probably up there. I don't know what kind of clips are down the center. I've never messed with one of these before, so. Be gentle. Okay. The screws won't come out, so I asked Dad for help. Do you need more room? Should we jack the front end up? Uh, I think I might need more room. We can check the front end up. this was, I'm thinking probably a pickup truck backed into it or something. Yeah. Or swiped right across it because that, you know, looks right about bumper height for a pickup. Actually comes all the way across into the door jam. But here it's, looks like it's almost all taken out. You can start feeling it right about here and see it all the way to the back. That said, we got a lot of rust. I don't know if we even want to try saving this fender if we want to just replace it. I guess we should press one of those up and see what makes the most sense. That's about it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please give us a like. And if you want to see more of what we're doing, then please subscribe so you can be notified when a future episode comes up. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!